countries are disputing access and ownership of what's under the Arctic. And since it is international waters, uh, international uh, mandate or, or, or agreement has shown that off of every coast of land of whatever country we have I think it's a 20 mile uh, ownership uh, and beyond that it becomes international waters so um, any vessel of any country can uh, go within 20 miles and correct me if I'm wrong if you know the if that it's not 20 miles um, but if they go uh, just short of that like say you know 40 miles off the coast then they're not actually entering the other country they're not entering their waters and they're not that close to the country but um, you have things like in the United States the Coast Guard the patrols you know the boundaries like here where the see where the cursor is around Alaska the United States will patrol here but the interesting thing is that you've got this straight so nobody can really come through this strait. Uh, I've talked about this strait before because of uh, the geology of the area, but just think about it navigationally. This is one of the only ways to get into the Arctic. This is one of the only ways. And um, in order to get up there, you either have to go through here, which is Russian waters, or you can go through here, that's American waters. So between Russia and the United States, they're controlling this opening into the Arctic. So th the dispute, I would assume, is about that. Now, when you go further across here, you've, of course, got Canada with major access. And as I said, Russia. Russia has the biggest access. Then you've got the countries up here, Scandinavia. So that includes mostly Finland, Finlandia, uh, which actually doesn't have uh, access. I'm wrong. See, their border doesn't go up to the Arctic. See, look at that. Poor Finlandia. Uh, but of course, you've got Norway and Mor Mormonske and Sweden doesn't. Sweden has all access onto this side. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, see? What a wonderful geography lesson. We're looking south right now. So Norway is the one with all the access onto the Arctic. Svalbard, of course, is Russian. And then you've got Iceland with easy access. This is North Sea and going into the Arctic. Here's the opening here, but big, big, wide opening. Anyone can go through here. So you're going to have to pass through this wide expanse between Norway and Iceland. So let's take a measurement here that shows that it's wow wow that's 650 miles more than but it's a leeway because you got like 20 miles off the coast so it's about 650 that allows you to get up there and then you've got also the side over here by by uh, by Greenland, which I think is owned by Denmark still. And then you've got, this is kind of a passage, Northwest Passage, but you've got to go close to Canada for that. So Canada might have a little bit of a dispute. But this is your major opening, going through the North Atlantic, past uh, the UK, Norway, Iceland, past Russia to get into the Arctic. So that's the big deal right now you don't hear a lot about it in the news but I am talking about it this is the news I am an investigative journalist I'm not gonna go too deep though I usually just try to cover everything that I can and 
there is the debate now about the Arctic. And obviously it's about the money. The money and the resources. And who can steal it first. But I think the United States, I was going to say, the, the world has to do the right thing. We need the most wisest people to wise up and make the right decisions about resources and this kind of rampant out of control capitalism needs to stop that is just the worst thing right now these people need to be put in check and if they don't like it there's gonna have to be regulation and I don't give a rat's arse about libertarianism because I've been in it I know it intimately well and it's the biggest crock of crap ever you know government has the job of regulating commerce that is the mediator and the authority over all these business interests that happen from wherever in the world going to wherever you know whatever their exploits we have a long history in this earth of problems that these people have created so governments if they do anything their necessary evil is to regulate and mediate between the business interests of the world and that's it that's it there's no escape in it and now the Arctic Ocean is going to be the big proving ground as to whether we have advanced as a species on a planet or whether we are going to flub it up some more unfortunately uh, uh, well no I'm going to be I'm going to be optimistic because I've said what I've said and I know it has influence thanks for listening give me your comments please Share this with everybody, all your friends, and like. Make sure you're subscribed too because YouTube is flawed in that system. Make sure you're subscribed.